Knights since joining in Feb. He delays in his placement before Brasilier finds Spring Hill. Danny Cutmore off showing what he offers in the loose. Frost on his own. Tackle, release. Muscularly grapple to the floor. A pick and go. Pirates edging closer. Lamalu. There's space left. JB Brazulio spots it before showing the Richmond defense and going starting through for his first try of the season and the first try of the match yeah really good play from Cornish Pirates um, they've gone quickly with tempo uh, from the free kick um, and uh, the big chaps up front have done the hard work they've picked the ball up with tempo uh, they stretched the Richmond defense who are worrying out about the quick guys out wide um, and JB has made a, a great decision there and backed himself and, and got over for a score Good a purple wedge is formed. The cut off at source. Bit more momentum on this drive. Richmond under pressure on their haunches. Looking to hit it low. JB Brazulier finds Scully out the back. It's tipped on magnificently by Rory Parata. Holden gathers it and he's into the corner. I've been in front of the ball. Do you know if all the for what seems a try? The tap back went backwards. Okay, fine, thanks. And that is a fabulous piece of opportunity, invention. Penalty was for and adapting. And Malik Holden I mentioned him hugging the touchline. He's had hardly any ball to attack all day, but when he gets his chance, he strikes. Cornish Pirates take their second try. And they move into a 13 point lead. They really have Number nine, shone the breakdown the today. The whole of the Pirates pack. And they go for a tap. They're one meter short. This could be the try that kills it off for the Pirates. One placement is really good. One placement's really good. And the try is awarded. Looked like he'd been pulled down short. There were plenty of red, black and old gold jerseys around, but Tom Duncan gets his try. He had the opportunity to place it. He did so, and it was on the line. It's tried and trusted for Cornish Pirates yet again. Uh, the big boys up front picking and going, not, not just to take on men, but with speed and accuracy and tempo. Um, and eventually they go over. Um, very impressive, very good game plan with these weather conditions. And as a result, they should be going 20 to nil up. Scully lands his kick and as Number predicted, seven, 20 nil. Court made a positive difference since coming on for Richmond. Again, they carry through big Miles Scott. Backside, Two up. meters short. Pressurizing the Pirates hands line. The they couldn't be closer. Hands up, please. Advantage offside. Dan Kelly nestled snugly to the near side touch line. There's men out wide. It goes to the hands. It's Will K on debut. And Richmond are finally across the line for their opening try of the afternoon. They've been battering away all day, and they finally get their reward. Thanks, Vince. And it's Will K. Yeah, just rewards for Richmond, and I'm pleased they've managed to cry the, wa the white wash. They've had a lot of effort down that final final third, and I think it's down to the big guys out front. People like Miles Scott coming to the fore, sucking in a couple of those destructive defenders that Cornish Pirates have. And eventually, it's, it's a stroll in for Will K, who's, who's had a quite impressive afternoon. But a tough kick from out wide.
That'll do very nicely in. Bye bye. Turn Quickly again. taking a kick. 70 meters downfield. Great opportunity. Beyond 15. Oh. They go long again to Caulfield, who has been relentless. And here's Pirate Shark to bag the bonus. And it's the replacement, Matt Bowell. The Richmond defense shows a bit of softness, allows the offload to come. And that is a good day at the office for the Cornish Pirates. They clinch the victory and they do it with a bonus point. I think it was, was it Kiri Kiri, the seven. Great footwork into contact. Again, frees his arms. His friends know exactly what he's going to do. Run off his shoulder. It was scored less than 90 seconds ago, so you can take the Defense. And now Richmond probably feeling feeling the effects of those strides into their 22 and all the defense they've had, to, they've had to do on their line. And it's a great finish for Cornish Pirates and a very impressive victory. <laughs> Harry Bazalgette's like going to take his time on this one. Just eyes up the big scoreboard here at the Athletic Ground. Okay. And counts down his time to close out the match.